So this is a 3D printed uh, handpiece. Um, it has a thread on the outside, a thread on the inside. It probably doesn't need the thread on the inside. You could probably put a, a plain sleeve in there with a groove around the top and a circlip. That might make it a little bit easier. Um, and the groove in here is where the wire goes down and the wire comes out here. So I'll thread this cable in here. Snug fit. Um, this inner sleeve goes on the top, it's just a little groove in the top there just to help you. It's just a bit of scrap copper I've got here to screw that in. And you put the spring in the middle, cone spring. A little bit of lubricant on the piston to smooth things along. The handle has a little peg in the middle which when it's screwed down will um, rest on the top of the piston and that um, enables you to regulate the, uh, the stroke length. So there you go. When the uh, system is using some very low power, you can find that the the tool doesn't actually uh, connect with the, uh, the 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 tool at the end. So just turning the handle in enables you to tune that in. And then you can lock that in. And that's very, very light. <clears throat> For much heavier strokes, you may want. Uh, a longer stroke which will give you a little bit more power so you can wind that out a bit Put a link in the description to where I've put the files, and you can. Uh, these are Blender files, and also the STL, and you can take a look at them and make one of these up if you want to.